The Champlain Valley Fair is a family friendly event. So what's being done to make sure the 10 best days of summer are truly the best? Let's go to Darren Perrin to find out. And to talk about fair safety, we are joined now by Chief Ron Hogue. Thank you so much. We You're appreciate very welcome. your time. Yeah, thanks for asking. You got it. So let's talk about how safe the fair is. What right. do you do to ensure that when people come here, that they can have a good time and remain safe? So we, we recognize that this is probably the largest gathering of people in the state of Vermont every single year. And, and we've been handling the fair for, what are we going on, 50 years now? Um, so every year we go over a threat assessment as to what currently is going on in the world, uh, what's going on locally that we might be of concern about. Um, we do uh, tabletop every year with all of the uh, all of the agencies that are here, and there are numerous public safety and other agencies that are here, federal, state, and local uh, agencies. So we involve all of those every year to try to come up with a threat assessment first, and then we deploy our personnel appropriately to try to manage anything that we might be aware of, uh, or especially things that we're not aware of. So on any given day, how many police personnel would be here, or security, or, or federal agents? So I can tell you that on the weekends, we have up to 20 police personnel that are in uniform on the fairgrounds during the busiest times of the day. During the week, obviously, we reduce that um, because, you know, the volume of people isn't the same. But during the weekends, especially when we have a big concert, like it's coming up Friday night, we'll have we'll have numerous personnel on the on the fairgrounds. And what kinds of things are you responding to typically? Well, for the most part, it's it's mundane things like you know, somebody lost their wallet. You know, someone someone might have found some found a piece of property, something like that. But we also have some things where you know we have missing kids a lot. You know, they get separated from their from their families. So we try to help uh, help them find their families. We partner with. Uh, the uh, uh, fairgrounds rescue um, so that we, we, we can get them reunited. Um, but then we also, you know, handle everything from assaults to, to violation of restraining orders, all different kinds of things that, I mean, this for, for 10 days, this is a small city, so. You and I remember this, and a lot of our viewers will too. Back in 2016, unfortunately, there was a, a fatal stabbing here right. at the fair. Did that change how you approach policing at the fair, mm -hmm. or has any of the uh, incidents that we're seeing in and around Burlington, violent crime happening, right. changing how you approach it this year? I can't specifically speak to the 2016 incident. I wasn't with Essex at that point. Uh, I was at a, uh, another police department at that time. But I can imagine that, that yes, the following year that happened I believe on the very last day of the fair so I would I would think that the very next year that did impact how things were done I can say that right now in today's times you know yes the things that have gone on around Chittenden County with gun violence and those types of things we have taken those into account and we've responded to those by adding more police officers in areas that we think are going to be the biggest issues the midway for instance I mean there's a lot of gathering of people in a tight area there there's a lot of younger people in that area so that you'll notice anyone walking around will see that we have a heavy presence of law enforcement on the midway. Chief, thank you very much. You bet. Thanks.